Algren commands the immense power of the Divine. His passive links his basic attacks to the souls of his enemies, dealing damage over time. If they cannot shake off the chain fast enough, the chain deals damage more frequently and deals additional magical damage when it ends. Skill 1 ignores terrain. This skill has two phases. He creates a path during the first phase and deals magical damage to targets hit by the path. When it hits a wall or the life-death border created by skill 2, it speeds up and creates a bridge of passing where it hits the wall. When Ogryn is on the path, he can travel through walls and gain a movement speed bonus. When he's on the bridge, he gains a burst of movement speed bonus and slows nearby enemies. Using the skill again will put him in the seer state, enabling him to kill enemies at low health instantly. Skill 2 is his main damage output skill, dealing damage and slowing enemies ahead. It creates a life-death border that deals damage, slows, and marks enemies that touch it. His next basic attack also deals additional damage to up to three nearby marked targets and restores health. His ultimate has crowd control and recovery, knocking back nearby enemies, dealing damage, and restoring his own health. He also creates spirits to aid him in combat. He enters Seer State after casting, killing enemies at low health instantly. This is his common combo. Use Skill 1 to go through walls and enter the fight quickly. Then mark multiple enemies with Skill 2 and poke enemies with the enhanced basic attack. Use Skill 1's Phase 2 to trigger Seer or use Ultimate to trigger Seer at low health, restoring some health. Enemies are controlled with spirits and then killed at low health. When at a disadvantage, use Skill 2 to mark enemies, then use Skill 1 and walls to deal damage and kill enemies at low health with Skill 1's Phase 2. Learn Skill 2 at level 1, because using that during jungling will attack two monsters at once. After level 2, increase jungling speed with Skill 1's Terrain Ignore and Grievous Effect on monsters. After unlocking the ultimate at level 4, his survivability and cleaning up prowess are increased, so he can use Skill 1 to support teammates and invade the enemy jungle. During team fights, he should enter after enemies use their key crowd control skills and use the recovery effects from the ultimate and skill 2 to poke enemies, then kill them with damage output from teammates. When being chased, use skill 1 to ignore terrain and flee quickly. He should focus on farming during early game and support teammates occasionally by going through walls. During mid to late game, his survivability increases with the right equipment, but he still needs to follow the group to deal damage alongside the carry and help cleaning up. A journey through life and death. Wash away the darkness. Life is but a journey, and death but a return.